Welcome back, YouTube, to the blindest, most amazing Dark Souls run ever. That's right, it's Saturday, we're going to continue on. God, can we just take a moment to talk about the Mother Mask? I know I said it's the worst, but like, honestly, this is like, if Dark Souls had a reface, this is it. Where's my, where's my breakfast tree? That's what this face looks like. Whee! Anyway, I'm a little tired. But let's continue this on. Uh, so we can go down into the catacombs. Well, no, Tomb of Giants, I should say, not catacombs. I'm not sure how I feel about that. A couple things I want to check. Um, one, well, I'm going to go to the item, but uh, as somebody pointed out, um, it was one of the top comments in the video. Cowboy, just go back with the doll and you can fight the boss. So yeah, we'll go fight the undead dragon. And apparently if I die, uh, I get to go to the Painted World, so thanks for spoiling that, asshole. But we will do that. Uh, another thing someone pointed out, which I want to check closer, supposedly we get a damage increase. Wow, we do. That's... Holy fuckballs, that's significant. Look at that. That is huge! So, uh, those, those need to happen. Do I have any other? Those are the heaviest gloves I got. That, that needs to happen. Um, so I got to get down to, like, 31. Let's see. Drop, I can drop a couple pounds. Losing my poise. Two. We can unequip that. This also needs to change. Wish I could sort. Was there... 46, 47, 33. Damn. I don't think I can get low enough to make it work, but that's too much of a damage increase to not take. But we're fat rolling with it. Any other option here? 0.7. Damn it. Let's see. It's 3.0. Wanderer boot. If I go brigand trousers, those are 1.8. Can I run those and the grass shield? 31.4. One level up, I could get by doing that. Do that. I mean, that that's way too much of a damage increase to not take it. Uh, so we're going to... I'm not sure what I want to do here, because on one hand, I absolutely despise the idea of having to run back down here, even though it's really not that bad with shortcuts. On the other, I really hate coming down here without the ability to... Did they, did they redo this? This looks... Wait, 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 wait. Did they actually lighten this up a bit? God, it's so much different. I don't see any ashes. I think this is a fake... I think this is a fake, but I'm going to touch it for science. Yep, it's a fake. Let's see. After killing that, do we get the bonfire? We do not. Alright, so. We're basically down here with no health. Um, I, this is this is weird though. I actually, I've seen the mod that does this. Hornet ring. It's, um, yeah, I remember that, that that mod that people were talking about, where it's like you know increases the the visuals of Tomb of Giants so that it's not as dark. And I was like, oh, that's cool. But to actually experience it is like, whoa. Ooh. that I could like roll to that I saw. Pancake. Iron crab. 
chest. That's the real bonfire. Get to that. Don't remember being able to climb up to that. I mean, it might have to be a trick jump type thing. We can check up here, see if there's any items that I would have run past. Threads. Fire hand axe, magic hand axe. Okay, it's a little weird, but whatever, I'll take it. So, start following that. Killed you, right? Oh, I thought we killed you. Bye. Stand up. This is where you drop and stay to the side. For that, I want to try and get this fire. Which looks like... Nice. Pumping that up, probably have a little bit more flexibility on what I'm using. Let's see if I can go back to the grass crest. 32.5 I can go up to. out of pyromancy when you use it. I feel like I would be... might as well. Ooh. Expected is, is... do I also have to fight a bunch of skellies? Part of me thinks I should kindle this bonfire. This is why I love Big Stick. slab. Damn. That's nice, but I haven't even found a large ember yet. Chunk. Ugh. Between getting a slab and a chunk, it's making me feel like I don't belong here right now, because typically you know, you, I feel like you would be finding things to get your weapon higher. But at the same time, you know, it's not like I'm particularly struggling or anything. So, maybe it's all okay? Hang on, I'm trying to remember how to get up to do that slide off and get that one treasure. I don't know if I can now that I'm down here. Oh wait, hang on. Yeah, I can, I can do this. Long route, but we 
you can go up and slide, grab the treasure, drop, grab the treasure. So far, I like this a lot. Tomb of Giants has always been an area that I've not, never really enjoyed uh, in other playthroughs of Souls, just because you know you have this this massive area that's basically pitch black like it, it's always bothered me that to get through the area it's like well you better have a light source you know either you're you're bringing along the the skull lantern or you have the maggot or you have cast light and i've always been kind of irritated by that just because like you know on one hand you could be like well cowboy you know it there's a challenge and you need to find ways to overcome it but at the same time it's kind of like a bullshit challenge you know like oh we're just gonna make it dark and you know, there's a couple different light sources in the game that you can pull from. You know, if you're a mage, you're basically set. You get a freebie. Uh, if you're not... Good luck, idiot. For... Matches would kick you in. Shards. I'm wondering if Nito has been down. I feel like the game wants you to come here early, you know, it wouldn't give you that cutscene otherwise. having big stick, you know, I can fight my way through just about anything down here. It also helps immensely that I don't need to have a lantern in my hand, because I can just run up and boop like I did right there. So weird. It's still very uh, disorienting seeing this place without the... Ah, uh, but, but seeing this without stuff, that all breaking the wall like right around here. Here? Remember exactly where it's at. It's like right around here somewhere. Lost cleric and a rusted knife. You're no hollow, are you? Thank goodness. Please be careful. There are two fierce hollows not far from here. They were once brave knights and my former escorts. Who would let such strong spirits be hollowed so? Heavens, is there nothing? Nothing at all to be done. You're on that tank, please. Yo, 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 guys, calm down. tricky. I don't have the poise, so I basically need to rely on parrying. I like how they won't attack while my shield's out. Also, I'm getting our partials. Oh. 
food. This is man. Not often I need to try and parry a one-handed halberd hit, and I am messing my timings up. I got way closer than I would like. Anyway, they're gone. You vanish, though. It pains me to think I am certain that both are here. My elixirs. Right now, I'm going to try something here. So, you may remember there was a lizard right there. I'm going to see if it'll reboot or if that's been changed. Because, there, yes, there is. Oh, escape. Now, these things I remember being particularly dangerous. Thankfully, it looks like I can just strength boy my way through them. Solved. This is why strength weapons just. Mm. Mm. One big old boop and two of them die. It's delicious. So I did barely missed it. Anyway, we got that now. probably go back and heal, but I'm going to move forward with the assumption that there's another bonfire before Nita. No, no! Oh, well, there we go. I guess that solves my, my lack of Estus problem. sure the gloves weren't impacted by humanity how the items are as long as I'm aggressive on these things and I don't like I can basically just pancake my way through this Alright, 
right, those things are doing scary amounts of damage. I can kill them easily enough, but if they get off a single attack, I'm basically... Draw this skelly in. Oh, come on, bro. Stop. Stop. Should have re up my Estus flask. I think the problem was in the positioning of that first one. It was hard to actually just run up and hit him. I also need my next point needs to go in strength. Blessed as in healing. I'm hitting my my two handed are just barely not enough to kill those guys. A three sixty nine. I would say the based on how much damage we're doing with that, they probably have health. It's like. 375 or something. Chunk. Like a fake. I'll go down to confirm. Things are such a, just like, don't hurt me. Didn't die, but it's definitely a unfavorable trade. Is definitely another fake. Oh, enough that that would kill me. Right. upper area. It's been a while since I've done this. So I know I say that constantly. I'm like, yeah, it's been a while, but yes, it's always been a while. Really nothing here. Was this always just a 
so I need to get to the upper portion. Right, it's up top, and then you do the drop down, and then you roll across. And this place is usually <sighs> built with skeletons. Skele bones. Now the skele bones are usually when you grab the treasure. Gonna get them to all line up right here. Some proper baiting. Since I need to roll backwards, I can safely. One. Become invisible. Neat. Strange pyromancy. Explosion, searing ping. No, wait, what am I using? Shit, did I just. Tried to, I've been playing so much Switch lately that I keep. Um, you know how, like, on a lot of Western consoles, PlayStation, Xbox, your A is the bottom button. You're like, you're proceed. And then the button to go backwards, or B, is the button that's over on the right, or circle. And, uh, you know, obviously with Nintendo, that's not the case. And so, <laughs> I keep with the Nintendo, where A is at on an Xbox controller, that's your, um, that's your go back button instead. And so I keep accidentally getting my buttons mixed up from how much damn Nintendo I've been playing. Oh, shit. One of those things that, like, I really wish, like, you know, I get it. Nintendo has their their own button orientation, and so does Xbox, and so does PlayStation. <clears throat> but if I had one dream for the gaming world, it wouldn't be cross-platform. It would be that, that every major game manufacturer adopted a singular button scheme. And this is a real bonfire, I believe. Like, everybody uses the same buttons. Just A, A, X, Y, B. And not only that, but they have the same layout. That would make me... That would make me pretty damn happy. But anyway, we're at 30 minutes, and we've conquered the Tomb of Giants! Hooray! So we're gonna wrap up here. Obviously, we have uh, Nito up next, so we'll take him down, and then I'll probably make my way back towards uh, Giant Dragon and fight him. So stay tuned, and I'll catch you guys later.